remember most about this person is I would be coming into work and this person would be coming home from her job, so she had a third shift job. So she'd come in and say, good morning, Wendy, and I would say, good night, Jules. <laughs> the joys of a third shift job, right? And I knew that I was gonna miss that interaction with her, but I'm happy to say I did not miss that interaction for long. I'm happy to tell you that Jules is now one of only two full-time PRAs, which is Program Reporting Assistants, she now is part of the TLC team. She works third shift, five nights, midnight to 8 a.m. And now when I come into work, I still get good morning, Wendy. And now I get to say, good night, Jules. Sleep tight in your own apartment. I'd like to welcome Jules. She's gonna share her story. Thank you. Um, yeah, I heard, uh, Jules, everybody, and I heard Mahogany say something about God said. Um, my story's a little bit different. Um, I want to take you through this little journey of how I got to TLC. Uh, a few years ago, I was in a nightclub celebrating Christmas, and uh, I was attacked in the girl's bathroom. I was mistaken for being the male. I was put in the hospital for eight days, and uh, this whole form is metal because the six bouncer that attacked me mistaken me for being a male. Um, I was prescribed Percocets, Delordans, Vicodins, and that's just what I needed to ease the pain emotionally and physically. And before I even knew it, I had a dependency. I sued that nightclub for $60,000. And within six months, I was sleeping in the park. The holes in my shoes were so big you could put your fist through it. I remember weighing 110 pounds. And I remember shoestrings holding my pants up. And I remember laying in that park and I remember saying, this is it, God, I mean it. I mean it. If you don't send somebody to help me, I have to do what I have to do. I got a moment of clarity. I went to rehab and I remember saying, I'm gonna do this 28 days and after 28 days I'm going home. I did the 28 days and then something happened. I left that rehab and went to a halfway house. And I said, okay God, I'm gonna do this 90 days and after this 90 days, I'm going home. And then something happened. And then I went to a halfway house. I said, okay, I'm gonna do this halfway house, but then I'm going home after this, and I mean it. And upon leaving that halfway house, my perception changed, and I realized I didn't even have it. And I remember being in a meeting one day, and I was saying, did I get clean for this? To be homeless all over again? And I remember this woman that lived in TLC, she came up to me, and she was ecstatic. She had nothing but nice things to say about it. Nothing but nice things. And I wanted to believe, I had to believe her. Because I knew what would happen to me if I didn't. She gave me this number, and I remember being so desperate, I called that number. And I remember I talked to Doug for the very first time, and when I got off the phone, I felt like I could breathe. I lived in TLC for about six months, seven months, give or take, and I remember they would call me down to the office. My heart would be beating fast like it is now. And they would ask me, okay, what do you need us to do? And I would say, I don't know. I don't know what I need you to do. And it would go over money management, budget planning, job opportunities, edu education, life skills. And I didn't never, never thought I was going to need it. Never thought I was going to need it. My six months was up, and I thought I was ready to be on my own. And I remember telling Wendy, I said, I think I'm ready to be on my own now. And part of me was scared, and the other part of me was ready. And I remember leaving. Matter of fact, before I left, Doug gave me a number, and it was a number with a lady's number on it. And he said, tell her I said, I sent you. And I went up to Miss Linda, and I said, I know you don't know me, but Doug told me to talk to you. She says, well, I had four other people look at this apartment before you, but if Doug sent you, you don't need to look no more. And I remember going back, and I, was just, I didn't have no furniture. I didn't have anything. 
I went back and Wendy gets me this whole shop of this little furniture and my pride and my ego wouldn't let me fill out anything. She took me to the basement and she was so happy for me. So happy for me. And like Mahogany and Juan said, I was just furnished with everything. Doug came on a, on a Saturday and a Sunday. And I remember standing in the middle of my living room crying. And I was still going down to TLC. I didn't have any friends. I was still going down to TLC. And I remember sitting in the lobby and when he would say, Jules, need us to do anything? And I'm like, no, I don't have any friends. I just wanted if I could just sit here. And I would sit in the lobby. And I would sit in the lobby. And I'd go to work. And I remember one day I said, I was thinking about what he was talking about, Wendy. And Wendy said, what was that? I said, I'm thinking about going back to school. She says, really? I said, but I don't know. The job that I have, I work 12 straight days and 12 hours shifts. I said, I might have to find me another job. But I'm really thinking about going back to school. Now, mind you, I only had a 10th grade education and a GED. That's all I had. Today, I'm pursuing a master's degree. And I've been in college for three years. And the pond. The pond. Get that degree. I will be a substance abuse counselor. And I don't know about anybody else. It was more than a room for me. Death was looking real attractive to me before I got there. And I can't begin to tell you. I don't even know if this is a word, but I'm gonna make it up. They are responsible for the transitional rebirth because had it not been for them, I know exactly where I would be at. Got my own apartment, was a resident at TLC, I now work there. And because of my irrational, unhealthy decisions, I ended up at TLC. But I think that was one of the best things that could have ever happened to me. And for you, Thank you. I am eternally grateful.